The Dragonborn is known for his shouts, taking on dragons, and simping for Delphine. But what about the other guy? Meet Phil, a hardworking Nord that just might be the weakest person in all of Tamriel. With no magicka, skills, and constantly needing to maintain hunger, body temp, sleep, bathing, and constant heart attacks. However, Phil wants to set out to achieve something big, taking on the Ebony Warrior, who is the strongest enemy in Skyrim. But for now, we start off in a little shack living with our parents. I'll be taking my allowance and my tiara. I'm looking beautiful. Looks like we got a civilized disagreement over here. Oh, yeah, well, that was pretty civilized. I'll be taking all your loot now. I always wanted a Kate. Let's go. I'm looking great. I think I'm just going to follow this guy for a bit. He seems to know what he's doing. I didn't know there was a town this close to my house. Uh, well, I guess this is where we part ways. I'm entering the town. This place looks horrible. What the hell happened here? There's even a moose in here. Maybe a moose. I don't know, man. Phil is very mesis. He just kind of hates any moose. Anything that's deer or elk or moose related, they're all the same to him. Well, this place is definitely abandoned. Jeez, whoa, wait, at least they have a bet. Oh, who the hell lives here? Dude, your house sucks, man. You need to move out. I'm dying of starvation over here. There's gotta be like a better town nearby or something. Looks like we got some bandits over here. Time to take them out. Oh God, please kind sir, let me live. I, I didn't even touch you that much. Ah. Yeah, they call me Phil the Rock Man. Can't touch this boy. Out of all of the days, why is this the day that these random things decide to fight? Hey, I'm not a part of this. Ah, finally made it to Riverwood. I wonder what exciting adventures await me here. Chopping wood. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Yeah, Let's what the hell are you going to do, huh? talking about this. Oh, I see someone doesn't have a good point to make. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Yeah, I uh, overheard everything. What happened? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. Your bath water. I know. Uh oh. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. A fully gold dragon's claw? Hell yeah, I, I, you know what? I can go get it for you. Where is it? <laughs> I mean, hey, come on, man. You Where could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. We'll worry about becoming rich later, but for now, let's worry about not starving to death. You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. Ugh. <sighs> Time to take a bath. You know, I forgot how weak Phil was, and we're supposed to be taking on the Ebony Warrior at some point. Hey, have you heard any rumors lately? A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. You want me to kill this kid, huh? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Brother, I just came to tell you to shove that guitar up your ass, but you know what? Who's this girl? What are you talking about? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. You both sound like creepy perverts. The hell's going on? I, I'm just a random guy. Why are you telling me your entire life story? You know what? Maybe she's craving elf dick. Maybe right. Camilla may see Feindol as little more than a friend. Why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Fango. Man, how did I become a delivery boy? You're a strapping young man. Lady, I assure you I am not interested. You know what? That Sven guy sounds really creepy. Maybe Fandal deserves it. From Fandal? That's strange. He's never written to me before. What? What is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that, that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. Yeah, wait, wasn't I rooting for Feindol? Hey, Feindol, I know I ruined all the chances you had at love, but like, would you want to help me on a little thing that might end up getting you killed? Either way. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, okay. Come on, Feindol, if we can't kill a wolf, how are we supposed to kill a nine-year-old? Come on, Feindol, right now is a perfect time to improve our archery. Miss. 
Miss. Miss. Hopefully this video is bad so no one saw that. Hey man, I would like a nice carriage ride to Windhelm. Totally not going to slaughter a child there. Come on, Fandol, we got places to be. What? This place looks... Wait. No, what? No, there's no stable or anything. No, I went to the wrong town. Why do they both have, like, wind in their knee? Oh, god damn it. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. Yeah, what? something gave me that impression. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. So when you say mostly, that means you've made a bad deal, right? Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Well, what's the story? Some line about this claw thing in Ingolbero. Wait a minute, I'm looking for a claw. Lady, I will take that claw off your hands for 50 smeckers. Fine, here you go. Wait, coral dragon claw? Uh, we were robbed, weren't we, Fangdoll? Oh my god. I could not have found a slower follower. Hurry the hell up, Fangdoll! Day one. The cold is really starting to settle in. I think me and Fangdoll are getting frostbite. Ain't that right, Fang- God damn it. Well, at least there's someone over here. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Uh, hey, you shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, Fangdoll! Fangdoll, get her! Fangdoll! You know, this is actually pretty nice, right, Fandol? We just sit back, relax, and watch all our problems go away as she gets slain by three different guys. Just like any average 20-year-old, Phil encounters a lot of heart problems. So, while the stress dies down, he decides to take some refuge in a cave. Alright, Fandol. Therapy with the boys is over. Let's get back out there. Hey, Fandol, look at this. Eh? Eh? Uh-oh, we're twerking. Day two, it only seems to get colder. Now I'm actually starting to die from the coldness. At least this time, Fandol actually decided to follow me. We're approaching close to our target. It shouldn't be long before we're saved from the harsh winters. Who the fuck builds a wall like this? Where's your top priority keeping citizens out of the city? Come on, just climb the damn rocks. Oh great, now I'm paranoid. You know what, that's actually perfect because I like having heart attacks. Come on, Phil. If we can't climb this mountain, how are we supposed to take on the Ebony Warrior? I'm gonna have a word with whoever built this city. It should not take this long to be able to get inside. Oh, I had a heart attack. God damn it. Of course, the soon-to-be greatest warrior in all of Tamriel was not going to be let down from failed heart rate. What? Is that a bear? Oh my god, it's a bear! Go around the grizzly, don't be shy, and the polar bear can get you if you're up real high! Ah, great, I'm paranoid again. Oh, thank god, some place where I can just rest. The architecture of this place is phenomenal. There's no door from here that leads straight into the city. That's just great. You, you did this to me. Finally, we made it to the city. Now, do they have any place where I can sleep? Seriously, who built a city like a maze? Finally, I found a place that'll just give me a bath. They didn't offer room service, so I guess I'll just meet that kid. Damn, this place got everything. Wine, leg goat, oh my god, some cheese, mead. Wow, this, oh my god, a whole wheel of cheese. I don't need a magic approach, but I'll sure take it. Uh, some firewood. Oh, okay, well now that was a bad idea. I probably shouldn't have taken the firewood. Man, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it had, uh, um, for the record, I was going to say heating. The, the hell is going on here? This kid doesn't need a dark brotherhood. He needs some fucking therapy. You've come at last! I knew you would! I have. Hey, kid, are you mentally stable? Come. I just knew it! I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. Yeah, I could tell. Name. An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, I think you got the wrong game there, bud. Of course you are. I prayed, and you came, and now you'll accept my contract. One good bust is not enough to kill someone. My mother, she... she died. Uh, yeah, I could tell. I'm now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. I'll be the judge of that. 
All right, I'll use your carriage again, but I want you to make sure you know exactly where I want to go. I want to go to Rifted. Nowhere else that sounds similar. Rifted. Okay, I think he gets the message. Let's go, Fane Doll. And okay, there he comes. I must be able to get some sleep from here. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. Uh, I, I just entered the building. I just came here for some sleep. What the hell? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. How about this? If you get me a room so I can sleep in, I will help you with your problems. Oh, thank God. I've been eating this since like a couple days ago. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. See that, boys? Phil's still got the looks. That was one hell of a journey to get to an orphanage. Come on, Fandall. We have an old lady to see. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Rillard. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here until the day you come of age and get thrown into wide horrible world. Now, ah! you all say. Ah! Uh, that was just muscle memory, I swear. Red! Move out my way, you little shits. I gotta hide the evidence. Get in the fire, Grelog. Kill one person and you can solve so many problems. Serious. I wonder the possibilities. Uh, I, I, I think I did more harm than good here. Come on, Fandol, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, I butchered your grandmother. Where's my reward? Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Let's see exactly what our pro- He gave me a dinner plate. We were scammed again, Fandol. Perhaps Whiterun has something actually fun to do. Uh, no, Fandol, we cannot go back to Riverwood. It's too long of a walk. Come on, Fano, we're gonna love this city. Oh, you're staring at that guy who's stuck in the door. What the hell? Um. Oh, there's a there's a guy running after us. There's a guy chasing us. Come on, Fano. Fano, come on. He's right there, Fano. Hurry up. He's too fast for us, Fano. We're gonna have to fight him. Been looking for you. Oh, he deliver. delivers messages. Apparently, someone found Phil's OnlyFans and they sent him a very weird letter about it. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his. What the fuck are you looking at? I heard him boasting at the bannered mayor saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> How many creeps are in Skyrim? You know what? I'll take care of him for you. you Want to try? Go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Then you haven't seen me in the bedroom. I'll get through to him. Listen, you little horny, creepy pervert. You need to leave that one lady alone. I forgot her name. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. Only proving my point about that creepy thing. You know what? If you don't stop, I'm going to beat the living crap out of you. I don't have to take that from you. All right, you wanna go, man? Let's go! Oh my god, I do like nothing to him. I'll get you eventually. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa! What you pulling up the dagger for? What the hell? This must be a fist fight! Fain dog, get him! Oh, they're dagger fighting now! What the hell happened? If they can get a weapon, I can get a weapon. Let's go! This just turned into a whole big-ass fight for nothing. Is no one's mad at me for doing this. Okay, then. No, we're far past mercy. Get him, Fandol. Okay, maybe I went a little far with that. Um, just gonna put that away. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you won't be using this stuff anymore. I'll just take that off you. All right, Fandol, let's go. Oh, wait, she's right here. She just watched this whole thing unfold. So selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. Lady, that's a little fucked up. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think we did a good- What, what are you guys clapping for? It, uh, sir, I think you should take the door next time. Alright, let me just hide the body since they obviously don't care. Just, oh, yeah, you like that. Uh, me burning the evidence is joyful to you guys. Alrighty then. God, this place is creepy. Alright, Fando, I need you to sleep in that bed right there. Yeah, just get on in, get nice and comfortable, Fandol. 
What are you doing in here? Leave. God. Yeah, just get real comfortable in bed, Fandal. Alrighty, now let's get some sleep in. Oh god, my ass hurts. Fandal, I just wanted to lay down. Nothing more, man. Wait a minute. Where the hell am I? Sleep well. What the hell are you thinking? Who are you? Where am I? I was just in bed. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? I swear she shoved the fishing pole up her ass herself. She just has like a weird kink and she couldn't handle it. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Hmm, problem. Yeah, I need a new fucking fishing pole. Mine's covered in shit. Old lady shit. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. So you want me to go, like, shoot a deer or something? Like, or hunt someone down? Like, what, what are we doing here? Well, now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. You see... There's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Let's see our contestants tonight, boys! Oh, look a bed. Hold on. You don't mind if I, like, sleep for six hours, huh? You did, like, take me out of my bedroom, so, you know, kind of tired. Alrighty, then. And everyone's still here. Of course they are. Alrighty. Off of me. Just for that, I'm interrogating someone else first. Okay, okay, can you shut up? I'm trying to record a video here. Shut up, you're ruining the whole scene. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk. Hmm? Alrighty then, who are you? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Oh, oh, okay. Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. I, I, I uh, don't like you very much. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. Alright man, guess what? You're in my town now, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. Alrighty, next contestant. By the gods, when I get out of here, you're dead. Do you hear me? Dead! Well, who are you? If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would... This right in your face. Well, why don't you just go ahead then? Um... Uh, release me! Alrighty then, time for contestant three! This about that raid last week. I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault, I swear. My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a cell sword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? You're certainly the nicest so far. You know what, just for that, I think the other two should die. And you get to live. Please. What a way to die. Alright, you're next. I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. Alright, finally I can just leave. This place has been wide. Oh, Fane. Oh, um, I, I can explain. Um, well, you see here. Um, I'm right behind hey, Fane, I need you All to right, do something it? for me. What do you need? Yeah, I need you to kill that guy so you're okay. a part of this. So, you, you know, you won't go ratting on the police. Yep, just one shot to the head should do it, Fane. Go ahead. And... You fucking suck. Jesus Christ, Hawkeye over here. He's a still target, Fandal. There you go, headshot. Let's go. All right, you're in this with me now. As a little reward, Fandal, I got you something. Just a little thing that'll make you- Oh yeah, that looks so much better. 
Uh, oh, oh my god, there's a giant. Oh my god. All right, Fennel, we need a lead. Oh, okay. Well, well, time to head back down the white run. I forgot I picked up a bounty earlier. I wonder where it's at. Oh, that's not bad at all. All right, let's go, Fandol. God damn it. Listen, lady, no hard feelings. I'm just here for the standing stone, all right? I don't have one yet, and I really, really want it. Die. Oh, I will be a standing stone anyways. You know, I changed my mind. Finally, we made it to the bandit camp. This place should be easy. Hey, I'm just here for your leader, so you know. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Fangdahl. Fangdahl, get over here. Shoot her. Shoot her, Fangdahl. It was at this moment when I felt a warm embrace. Was this love? Was this- ah, ah, ah! I didn't know you could die from someone's bad breath. Excuse me, sir. I'm here to pick up a bounty on you. Yeah, keep hitting Fangdahl. Don't look- Oh my god. What's behind door number one? Oh my god. No way. Ah. You wouldn't hit a poor little Phil. Oh my god. I soon found myself in an endless death loop. Not just because of the really strong guys, but because of the stress mod. You see, I keep having heart attacks for no reason. You feel supposed to be a healthy 20 year old man, probably 20, he looks like he's in his 40s, but he can't help himself but keep dying due to his suffering heart condition. Turns out the stress mod wasn't actually working how it was supposed to, so I had to completely reload my save back to Whiterun and reset the stress mod. Now it works better. You. Every time I look at you, my blood boils. What the hell? I, I never even talked to you before. You, you know what? Well, you want to be a merchant? I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. I need a little coin anyways, I can get you that mammoth tusk. What some people don't know is that there's one right here in the city. This is gonna be like the easiest robbery ever. Just walk in, grab it, give it to her. Alright, what? You little shit, you took my tusk back! New strategy, he can't take the tusk if he doesn't know I stole it in the first place. Okay, Fandor, you're really giving me away here. Alrighty then. Oh my god, Fandor, you idiot. You complete idiot, you stupid piece. You know what? I got this, I just need to dodge him. Come on in. Not too close though, and... Okay, I think I'm in the clear. Okay, I got the tusk, let's go! This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Bargaining? I wanted some hard gold, what the hell? To get some actual cash, I decided to help this old guy find his lost butt plug. This is going to be the easiest amount of money I've ever made in my life. Oh god, the skeleton's here. The easiest... What was that damage? You're supposed to be the easiest enemy! What the hell? Fandol, do something! Alright. I think we're clear the- No! God damn it! Why is there another one? <sighs> Finally, I found it. This old guy can have his amulet back. Here's your amulet, sir. 15 gold? What the hell? You- That's not a good price for all of that? I don't- You know what? I can fetch a better price. Don't worry, man. I got you. I got the rest of your paycheck. It's right over here. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Yeah, seven more gold. Now, that's a nice price right there. Oh, yeah. You know what? I can do even better. Hold on. Let's see how much money we can rack up here. Another seven gold? Oh, yeah. That's pretty much double what you already paid me. Still some bullshit, though. And for the first time ever, I actually built a campfire. Let's go. All right, Fane doll. This time I'll keep my heart problems to a minimum. Let's get him. You know what they say, third time you don't get brutally butchered. And this time, Stormcloaks and Imperials were just randomly fighting up here, and they also killed my target. That's the easiest bounty of my life if you don't count, like, the past couple hours I've been spending doing this. That was easily a thousand gold bounty, if I do say so myself. For how long it took, how many times I died, I'm here for my paycheck, my man. Yeah, I took out that uh, one guy that you wanted dead. Can I get my money now? Eh, he's still talking. I don't care. Give me my money. A hundred gold. How many times am I going to get scammed today? You know what? No, 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 no. 
A hundred gold? You have to be out of your fucking mind. No. No, I, I, I can make the rest of my money right here, right now. Hold on, let's see what we got over here. Ooh, some mead. Oh, some taffy, a couple plates. I guess I'll sit down. I hope you weren't setting up for dinner, because I'm going to need all of this. That one bandit, yeah, he's going to cost about all of your table stuff. Oh, and let me just get this table, too. Don't want to forget out all this gold. Got some extra tables back here. Good job. This must be that kid's room. Oh, look at this. A nice chest. Get your five coin, a little guitar. Oh, yeah, all this food. Oh, hell yeah. He should have just kept his mouth shut. Maybe I wouldn't have even came in here in the first place. Let's see what we got here. Why does he have a whole cast iron pot in his room? Don't judge me, Feindall. I'm just going to take all this stuff as well. What about my way? There's a whole other chest over here. 15 gold. Hell yeah. Oh, there's some taffy he adores too much. Ah, uh, I really just wiped this entire castle clean. Just took every little thing I can get from him. All for my one bounty. By the order of the yard. How did I end up in prison? It's- uh, I barely even took anything. What is this bull crap? Someone let me out- well, There's a dead guy in here! Why do I have to sell with a dead guy? Hey, what's this? Why is this guy in here? He has a whole nut. Did he shake himself? Oh, look, he has four gold. Hey, why, why, why do I get to sell with a dead guy? Guards, he needs medical attention. Guards, come here. Medical attention over here. Come get him. Come on. You know what? I think I learned my lesson. That lesson being aim for the kitchen, baby. Look at all this food. It's just for take. Why do they have dog meat? Never mind. Oh my god, I'm gonna be full for a while. Never need to worry about eating again. Oh my god, all these carrots. After selling the entire castle, Phil managed to get a thousand gold. We then managed to buy a whole new set of armor, and I gave Feindall my old armor. Moral of the story, rob people. And if you enjoyed this video, which obviously you did, feel free to subscribe and join the Discord. I'll be doing a lot more in the next episode and episodes following. I just needed to get set up for this one.